Welcome back to WWE 2K22 Women's My Rise. I am your host, Attack Slug. I have earned my shot at Sasha Banks on Monday Night Raw by defeating Miss Josie Jane. So what does she have to say about that fact? What do you want? I beat you. That was easy. I guess I thought with the Sasha Banks match on the line that you'd put up more of a fight. But I was wrong. That was easy. I should be the one facing Sasha tonight, not you. You just got lucky I wasn't 100%. Just know that next time you get in the ring with me, it won't be that easy. You're gonna get the real Josie Jane. We'll see, we'll see. Sure, okay. Just make sure to watch my match tonight. Maybe you can pick up some tips. Meanwhile, Fanny's still wearing one of the worst shirts in history. What do you got? That was amazing! Are you so excited? I'm so excited, and I'm not even going to Raw. How springy do you think the mat will be? Same as here, or slightly different? Do you think Sasha Banks will smell good? Will you bring me back something from catering? Oh, and some hotel shampoo? Relax, and also chill. Fanny, you're starting to hyperventilate again. Just bring it down a notch. I know! This is embarrassing! You're the one going, and I'm hyperventilating! <gasps> How did you get a job here? I guess I'm just hyperventilating on the inside. Right, I'm gonna go try to calm down. Good luck, and don't forget the shampoo. Just a heads up, they're putting in a rush order for the gear I designed this morning for this match. It's gonna look great, and you're gonna do great. Congrats, new girl, getting thrown into the fire. Give them hell. Can you take the heat in the background there? I see uh, the boss. And also, congrats and welcome to your contract, etc., etc. I just got here, man. I just got here. Social feed, uh, fandomonium, uh, the game, uh, who is now running the whole show. Uh, Tasia Ziggler is being Ziggler. Oh, man. I got more Mark in this. I, I, I was hoping he would stay on the men's side, but no. Mark for Life is back, so yeah. There's that. There's that. So, close that. We'll check on no stories. We're still here in our deal. And we'll back out. And I guess we'll talk to Miss Sasha Banks. Or no, I'm sorry. Miss Mandy Rose. And our truth Obviously, I'm going to go our truth because that's what's up. What's up? I'm our truth Welcome to Friday Night Raw. My bad. Isn't it Monday Night Raw? Man, I was one of the lucky ones who made it back from Europe. I'm so jet lagged. I don't know what day it is. But Raw is always on Mondays. Only if you don't have a DVR. Anyway, someone told me you were a PC girl. That's right. Is this gonna be a computer joke? Cool. I don't know nothing about computers, but I'm starting to think that fad is here to stay. Oh, yes, you're right, R-Truth. You're always right. It certainly looks that way. Listen, a little birdie told me you were here to face Sasha Banks. Big facts. That's true. I'm hoping to give her everything I've got. Enough about that. The real question is, why are birdies telling me other people's secrets? I don't know. One of life's great mysteries, I guess. Anyway, good luck again, Sasha. I got a feeling you're going to be fine. But keep an eye out for any gossiping birds. They're bad news. Bad news. Thanks. Our truth continues to be a national treasure. Now, Miss Mandy Rose, the GM of Raw. Ugh, what are you doing here? They sent me here to work Sasha. What do you mean? I'm here to face Sasha Banks tonight. They sent you? You've been at the PC for what, 24 hours? I think it was just under three, actually. Great. I mean, first it was the travel issues and now this. Do you think the other GMs have to deal with this crap? No, they don't. They could have at least sent someone who spent some time inside a real ring. I thought it would be Josie Jane. Who I beat. Get ready for greatness. Sorry to ruin your plans, but get used to it, because Sasha Banks doesn't stand a chance tonight. Ugh, green and stupid? This is going to be ugly. Hot dog and a handshake, let's go. There is the boss. What's up, boss? Who are you? Oh, you gonna find out. You don't know? Okay. Well, in a couple hours, you're gonna find out. <laughs> Cute. But I don't wrestle fans. Don't insult me by calling me a fan of yours. I'm from the PC. 
they're not fans. It's the WWE Universe. You can't call them fans anymore. Well, actually, now that Triple H is in charge, perhaps you can. Anyhow. I know who's at the PC. You? Ain't one of them. I just got here. I just started today. And they sent you to face me? Are you kidding? I was supposed to have a Raw Women's Championship match against Naomi tonight. And now I'm facing off against this joke? <laughs> Wait, are you dying? And this is your wish? I will destroy you. You're gonna wish you hadn't said that. I might be new here, but tonight you're gonna call me the boss. I'm going to enjoy this. Buckle up, cause here we go. It's Monday Night Raw. And my entrances, I honestly don't even know. I have not gone in and tinkered with the entrance just yet, so, oh, it's that generic entrance. The absolutely, hey, I'm here and I'm angry, and totally generic, whatever other nonsense. But importantly, I'm here to face Sasha. I gotta change my superstar, all that nonsense, but, you know. We have things to do here with Miss Leona Lux. But meanwhile, we know what time, time it is. Thank you, Cole. Much obliged. Man, Cole no longer can scream, it's boss time. But also no longer has Vince screaming in his ear every night, which is great. So. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. My man, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks Sasha Banks has her own swag, she's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. Now, one has to imagine that with Triple H being fully in charge of creative, and Steph being a co-CEO with Nick Khan, and Vince being completely out of the picture, supposedly, that there are some fences that perhaps could be mended with superstars who left on perhaps the poorest of terms, and perhaps Sasha and Naomi are two of those, but perhaps not. And it's win the match. It's win the match, so I have no option here but to beat Sasha in a shocking upset with my one day at the PC coming from the indies. You know, I have some exp ex experience here. Some, not much, but some, working in the Indies. So, Sasha, it's about to go down strong style. I'm gonna put you through your paces here, Sasha. And here we go. And down. Okay, ragdolling her. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see where the entire business goes at this juncture because Triple H being in charge and favoring perhaps his NXT prospects. Certainly Sasha was there for a lot of that. So how's that gonna work? Like, it's gonna be very, very curious, if you will. But the power of Leona Locks here doing the Lashley on that suplex. Don't underestimate the power of the fiery something. I've, I have not begun to think of a nickname yet for Miss Locks, but we know that the Alabama Slamma is very, very effective. So head to the corner. Let's see what our top rope maneuver is going to be. If we actually get it to work. Oh, just more and more power from the Locks. Down. Just absolutely ragdolled. You love to see it. Now then. I guess we do know that even with Vince being gone, uh, there are still some names that you're not going to see ever come back. And I would definitely put CM Punk at the top of that list, only because we know CM Punk's thoughts that, hey, when Vince is gone, his idiotic daughter and doofus son-in-law, yeah, that's not going to bode well for a return with the heat between those two with the, hey, I'm going to work you, Trips. You gotta work me. Like, that's just not gonna fly. But look, man, both get older. Times change. You never know. Things could change. Uh, but that's one name I would not expect to see back in any capacity. Like, perhaps a Hall of Fame speech at the very end. But even that, even that would be 
dubious. That's even, oh my god, Sasha with some power there. That's, I guess, I suppose if things go poorly for AEW at a certain point, then yeah, at that point it's the only game in town, right? And if you're going to retire, then you do it there. But otherwise, Meteora, nope, caught her. Caught her. And scoop slam. Which means it's time to hit that SIG with the suplex, the pump handle suplex there. Phenomenal. Pick her back up and immediately on the shoulders of greatness, the TKO. Love it. Stunned. Boss time. You done. Two, three. the performance center this morning. This is unheard of. And nope. the boss wants nothing to do with a handshake. She's living. Didn't think so. Sasha Banks is in shock right now. I would be too. Nonetheless, what a moment. All right then. Everyone knows you got lucky. Leona Locks will call you Lucky Leona, but you won't say lucky for long. Meanwhile, Mark for Life has the scoop and found my socials. But also, Rhea is like, wouldn't happen to me. Couldn't be me, says Rhea Ripley. I mean, that might happen to you, Rhea, at some point here. Don't you worry. Now then, Tasia says, hey, the boss lost with a random. Hey, put some respect on my name, playboy. Anyhow, Lacey Evans, lordy lordy. Get your house in order. All right. HBK is impressed. Much obliged. Bailey is concerned. You feeling okay? All right, so there was those. Mark is still Mark. The DMs are the DMs. That's what I call a debut. Shucky ducky, quack, quack. So that means we are back here in the PC and Josie Jane and Fanny Fan. What do you got? You sure are luckier than a skinny caribou in September. You are Canadian, aren't you? Lucky? I beat Sasha Banks fair and square. Center of the ring. Don't ever forget the only reason you were there was because I was hurt. That should have been me. Okay, Ziggler. But it wasn't. Yeah, but it wasn't you, was it? It was me. I was the one who beat Sasha Banks in front of millions. And millions! And you were still here crying about it. I am going to dedicate myself to showing the world the truth about you. That I deserve to compete with the best? I think they already know. Oh, you didn't know? We have Fanny Fan and Miss Beth Phoenix. Okay, tell me everything. How did it feel? Pretty good. Winning? I mean, it felt great. Obviously. No, not that. I want to know about the ring, the ropes. How was the catering? Do they use real silverware or plastic? Oh, do they have extra underwear in case you get so excited that you pee a little? Relax. Um, I didn't ask. Did you shower after? Sorry, stupid question. I don't think I would, though. Talk about a sweat souvenir. I can't believe you beat Sasha Banks. Do you want to watch the match? I've recorded the whole thing on my phone. I've seen it about 30 times already. Why are you so weird? No thanks. I was there. I know how it turned out. <laughs> totally. I'm going to watch it again, though, either way. Still can't believe it. See you out there, champ. And finally, Beth Phoenix. Like everyone else, I was glued to my TV last night. Congratulations. A really impressive win, especially right out of the gate. Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad I was able to prove myself. Let's not spend too much time in the afterglow. You still have a long road ahead of you. Time to get back to the grind. Oh boy. Agree with Beth or talk back to Beth. Now in my men's playthrough, I went face at the PC, but here we are on the lady's side. Let's go heal. Wait, you expect me to keep training here? I beat the boss on Raw. I bet the only reason Mandy Rose didn't sign me on the spot was because she was jealous she never did anything like that. Listen, rookie, this is your second day. I could fill an arena with everything you don't know. So how about we ditch the attitude and get back to training? I get that you're going to make me put in more time here. But after what I did last night, I'm taking a day off. 
No, you're not. Not without severe consequences. Oh, no. I'm not one of your bratty kids, okay? Your empty threats don't scare me. So why don't you go get HBK some coffee or something? I'm gonna find Fanny and let her show me some of my highlights. You had to go and make it personal. You might have beaten the boss last night, but let's see if you can beat your boss right now. That might be worth giving up my day off. I am a WWE Hall of Famer. My career will be remembered forever, and yours might just end today. You think you're going to end my career? Yeah. Even though you think my job is to get coffee, I'm actually a head trainer here. So this is what's going to happen. If you can somehow beat me, I'll let you keep training. But if I win, Mr. McMahon has given me the authority to say you're fired. See you in the ring, rookie. I mean, at this point, uh, anything with Mr. McMahon and any of the ladies, let's just not, let's just stay away from that. Leona locks in a must-win scenario versus Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon. If anyone should appreciate the heel tactics, it would be the Glamazon. And also, I'm starting here with a health uh, deficit, which is unfortunate, but, you know, Alabama slamma all day long. HBK, you just watch. Just watch, HBK. Watch what happens to Beth Phoenix with these uh, back breakers and just tossing her like a rag doll, like it was nothing. That's what it means to be locks down. Pick you up for the Lashley. Looks like money. Smells like money. Lashley. So yes, uh, gonna be quite intriguing to see how this plays out given what has happened in the past couple of months with everything that's been going on in this business, as your life would say. So, quite curious to see how it's going to all look in hindsight uh, in this My Rise. And quite curious to see how things look on the next game, considering everything that's happened. Uh, also at ringside, the Road Dog. So I guess good for him. Good for him, Beth. I hit the button to close line and it didn't close line, so now the gut kick. Now the comeback here from Beth, getting her moves in. It's, fu it's fine, but the shoulder block runs her down. Runs her over, because that's what we do. Going to the corner. Oh, all right, hammer throw into the corner. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Here we are, here we go. Uh, square and up, and it gets reversed. What I want is what I want, and you will give me what I want. Beth, the power of the Glamazon. Well, we know how much in this game the CPU loves that Snake Eyes spot. I hit triangle there three times. Three times. I had the timing. Like, bro. Bro. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Beth, guess what? Aha! Uranagi. The hard way. There. You just dumb pissed me off. And you know what Jeff Jarrett says. Don't piss me off. All right. Again with the uh, nope. The nonsense. Shoulder block. Taunt. Gain my beardness. Make it happen and put you down again. I gotta go into that move set and change some things here, but wanna keep those power game moves going with Beth Phoenix. And she caught it, she caught it. And again, if you're going power for power here with Beth, that's, you know, a problem. Nope, couldn't get her up. Power bomb. That was sick, that was sick. I love it, I love it. You're about to get locks down here, miss. Oh my God. The sit-out spine buster was really good. Beth, where are you going? Where are you going? Shouldn't be doing that, because you're going to miss. And when you miss, and when you get up, and when I hit my pump handle suplex, you're about to be on the shoulders of greatness with that TK. Whoa, yeah! That's it, Beth. I keep my job, and here we go. One, it's bugging here. Three, what the hell? Alignment change. We are officially on the heel path in the PC and ending the episode for today. I am your host, Attack Slug. See you next time, right here for more videos. And I'm out.